Roleplay presents the top 10 PS4 role-playing games. This ranking is based on a 1 to 10 scoring system that aggregates critic and gamer reviews into a unique score called the Play Score. As much as new reviews show up and are added, the Play Score changes. Tenth in the ranking is Bastion. This indie game made it in the list for a lot of reasons. TLDR, it blew away a lot of people's expectations. With gorgeous settings in every level, impeccably good voice acting, a memorable soundtrack, and a deep, satisfying weapons and upgrade system. But you know, if you've already played this game before, then don't be shocked that there are no changes whatsoever. A play score of 8.68. Number 9 is Child of Light. This unique RPG stands out because of its novel yet simple approach to strategic combat. It's a turn-based gem, founded on a meaningful narrative, bewitching setting, and exceptional art style. It's too bad the characters you meet are not all that memorable, and having conversations and rhyming words doesn't really help at all. But Child of Light gets a play score of 8.7. Eighth place is the Sky of Five Alliance of Vengeance. This mega RPG franchise continues to evolve, a proof that creators haven't run out of ideas just yet. A lot of cool new features like the squad system, deep character customization, tons of graphical improvements. Veteran players will find it all too similar. First timers though, on the other hand, may be overwhelmed with the many options to choose from. Proceed cautiously. Sky of 5 Alliance of Vengeance has a play score of 8.74. Seventh is Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. As a hardcore fan, I found Divinity Original Sin to be one of the most rewarding and toughest RPG titles to play. With an expansive world to explore, very strategic in nature, environment, objects, and status effects play a very big role in combat and interesting in-game characters and lores. Surprisingly, the introduction of rock, paper, scissors, and conversations improved the overall gameplay. Play score of 8.84. Rank 6th is Dragon Age Inquisition. This is a brilliant action RPG that could have been perfect. Disappointing plot aside, it offers a modern role-playing experience complete with a beautiful, fantastic open world, deep tactical combat and level-up system, compelling characters and meaningful dialogues, and hundreds of hours of main and side quests. Dragon Age Inquisition further cements BioWare's ability at making outstanding RPGs. It gets a play score of 8.86. Fifth is Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. At first, I thought this game was another money-grubbing remaster, but boy, was I wrong. It's the original DS2, alright? But with enhanced graphics of up to 60 frames per second, enemies in places where you least expect it, plus all of the Crown Trilogy DLCs, the same punishing game with a new surprise for veterans, and a very good start for very new players. A play score of 8.93. Fourth is Fallout 4. It's definitely one of the most anticipated games of 2015 and it lived up to all the hype. Imagine the old Fallout games, just better in almost every way. Excellent crafting and base building, the gunplay has significantly improved. And who doesn't enjoy blasting creatures in and around Commonwealth? With so many things you can do in a game, it's a true time sink. Fallout 4 has a play score of a flat 9. Third is Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition. The culmination of two years of patches from the development team, Ultimate Evil Edition is the pinnacle of Diablo 3. This is as good as the PC version, almost no frame rate drops even during intense battles, killstreak improves loot and experience, and remarkably accessible to the newcomers. If you ditch the story and go on adventure mode, hours of replay awaits. Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition has a play score of 9.13. Second best is Bloodborne. This is an action RPG of epic proportions. 
The idea of having a shape-shifting arsenal of weapons at your disposal while at the mercy of grotesque-looking monsters from the Soul series is phenomenal! While not as strategic as the other games in the Dark Souls series, the on-the-fly weapons changing is perfect for stringing combos. Plus, randomized chalice dungeons give the game even greater replay value. A play score of 9.16. Stay tuned for the runners-up right after we reveal the number one. And the best is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, a massive open-world RPG that defines the current gaming standard. Explore, slay monsters, get loot, craft items, talk to people, form relationships, and master the art of Gwent. These are just a few things that Wild Hunt offers. Stunning visuals and character models, amazing open-world setting, great combat, tons of side quests and additional content, and an impeccable storyline to boot. 2015's Game of the Year, Witcher 3 has a play score of 9.25. And here are the runners-up. game's not on the list? Leave a comment below and we'll just tell you its play score. Want to know the play score of newly released video games on PC, console, and mobile? Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and Instagram.